Hello there my fishy friends. My name is Peter and today we're gonna go look for steelhead on the upper Chilliwack River. I'm at a spot called the Limit Hole. I'm not blowing up any spots because this area is above the fishing boundary. Not supposed to be any fishing here all year long. Some people do anyway but the conservation officers make this a regular stop on their tour so don't worry about it too much. If you fish here, you're gonna get caught sooner or later. So uh, yeah, let's hop in, see what we can see. Water's still bloody cold, so I don't know how long I'm gonna last. Also, it's raining. So yeah, we'll see what the footage turns out like. All right, time to get in the water. I've been getting actually quite a lot of complaints lately that I haven't been posting videos. A lot of my viewers that I meet on the river all comment, well, I haven't been putting up anything. It's actually, I haven't been back in the water since last fall. If you follow my channel regularly, you'll notice that I have a new suit. It's a nice 9mm suit that keeps me toasty warm in this water. The water is about 4 degrees Celsius. We're looking at the first week in April here. And uh, yeah, my body's warm. The face is cold though. Putting your face in that cold water is uh, actually intensely painful. And it hurts for about the first minute or so, and after that, the face just goes numb. And then it actually becomes quite comfortable, and I can spend an hour in the water like this without getting shivery at all. So once I'm really acclimated, dive in, and go for a swim with steelhead. The water here is turbulent, highly oxygenated. And when I'm just snorkeling around, this is about what you get. Steelhead are shy. They are highly predated by sea lions. And I look just like a sea lion to them. So this is about as close as they let me get. And for that reason, I don't really sit there and chase them around. I set up a camera on the bottom. And I let that camera get the footage for me. So in this fashion, over the years, I've gotten pretty good at predicting where the fish will be sitting. and to get good shots and, and really um, as an angler watching this stuff I find it intensely fascinating and uh, what I'm looking at is is you know what kind of shape are these fish in after running the gauntlet of the better this particular buck has two hook marks one on his lower jaw there that was probably from a pegged bead because the hook was on the outside of the jaw and uh, ripped out so you know, it wasn't um, that's what happens with peg beads, and that's why peg beads sometimes are not optimal because often you end up looking those fish on the outside of the face. There were about, I would say, 15 to 20 different fish in this pool at this time. They're digging some reds there, so some of them are staying there to spawn. And kind of fascinated every fish looks slightly different if you look at them long enough they really are quite individual but they were all about the same size all of these fish in this video are roughly nine or ten pounds kind of in that range I saw one big buck sitting way down in the tail out but I didn't get any footage of that one so I'm also looking at how many hatchery fish made it up past all the anglers and there's one and that was the only one I saw in that group He's a fairly big buck. You can see when he comes around again, have a look. He's got one hook mark on the inside corner of his mouth. So he did battle someone and he won. And now he's up here in the limit hole spawning. Here he comes again. You can get another look at him. Beautiful fish. clips that adipose fin and that's how we tell that they are a hatchery fish. Our hatchery uses wild brood stock to produce each generation of steelhead so that uh, we don't get the loss of genetic diversity. Let's have a look at that doe that's sitting there. That's the same doe a little bit closer and you can see how she's using that rock. The rock is about the size of a cantaloupe and she is using the turbulence created by that rock to hold in the fast current. A lot of anglers think that steelhead like big huge boulders to sit behind, and certainly sometimes they do. 
but they don't need a very big rock at all. This doe is using the pocket of turbulent water to stick her body in, but you can see she's actually sticking her head in front of that rock, and that way the cold oxygenated water is sluicing through her mouth and her body is tucked in there and she doesn't really have to do much work at all. This next shot I'm going to show you a resident trout and it's also a hatchery fish and that means that the parents of this fish were steelhead. Uh, but this uh, smolt decided to stay in the river and um, that's the size difference. These, this, this little trout, this little bull trout photobombing this little trout is maybe as old as the big steelhead swimming next to them. Just the, ox the um, ocean is, is so much more bountiful and there's, there's a lot more food within the ocean and just grow enormous like this. That's about enough. I'm going to publish another video that's just uh, unedited raw footage of all these uh, fish swimming around. Uh, if you want to tune in for that, it'll be a longer video. I hope you enjoy that one. I certainly find this stuff fascinating. But for today, I think I'm going to say that's enough. I'm going to wave goodbye. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.